one of the easiest things in the world in politics to call for tough consequences when one of your opponents breaks the rules. That's not hard for any of us. The litmus test, though, is whether you're prepared to do the same when it's one of your own breaking the rules. And in these abnormal times, when everybody has been asked to do difficult things, I think that is more important than ever. That's why the SNP whip has been withdrawn from Margaret, and that is the most serious sanction a party can impose on an elected representative. I've also spoken to her directly and made crystal clear to her that I think she should now resign as an MP. Now, people contact me and say, why don't you just sack her? And this is a, a point that I have to make clear. I, I don't have the power to force an MP to step down. No party leader has that power. But I can make my views known, um, difficult though it is, uh, and I have done so. And I hope she will come to the right decision in the interest of the overall integrity of these vital public health messages. Look, I, I know that politics kicks in in these things, but I think the SNP has acted uh, quickly, appropriately, and, and actually we have not tried to protect a colleague here. We've tried to do the right thing given the circumstances we're dealing with. And I'm not going to get involved in, in kind of political statements here, except to say that some of the people I hear last night and today, you know, full of self-righteous criticism of the SNP are people who completely lost their tongue uh, when a certain special advisor in London uh, broke the rules himself. So as I say, it's easy to be critical when it's your opponent. The big test is whether you're prepared to do the same when it's one of your own.